All right. Suppose that a certain college contains 59 students. Of these, 31 are sophomores, 30 are biology majors, and 12 are neither. A student is selected at random from the class. What is the probability that the student is both a sophomore and a biology major? So if I'm going to look for both a sophomore and a biology major, I'm going to take the probability that they are a sophomore plus the probability that they are a biology major and subtract the probability of both of them or happening. So what I'm doing here is on my sophomores, I have 31 out of 59. I am then going to add the probability of the biology major. The biology major, we have 30 out of 59. I'm going to subtract the probability of both. Well, here, if 12 or neither, I'm going to take the 59 minus the 12 for what my numerator is. And then, of course, the bottom is still going to be the 59 total people. If 12 or neither and I take 59 minus 12, that means I have 47 in my both range. So I'm going to take 31 59ths plus 3 59ths minus 47 59ths. Since they all have that nice common denominator, I can just add and subtract numerators, right? 31 plus 30 minus 47 gives me 14 out of 59. Part B. Now this is the thing with the given. So when I have that given that it is a biology major, what's the probability he's also a sophomore? That's the one where we had to take the probability of both divided by the probability of the given part of that. So for part B, the probability of both is the answer that we found up here in the first part on part A, 1459s. We're going to divide that by the probability of the given part of it. The given is that they're a biology major. So the biology major, majors were 30 out of 59. So I'm going to take 14 over 59 divided by 30 over 59. I'm dividing fractions. That means I can invert and multiply if I'm not using my calculator. So I would take 14 over 59 times 59 over 30. The 59s are going to cancel out. I get 14 over 30. And then, of course, I can reduce that down. So I would get 7 over 15 for my probability. So they're combining a couple things we did there into another kind of problem that has fractions. So number 17, suppose that a certain college class contains 52 students. Of these, 33 are freshmen, 30 are business majors, and 6 are neither. A student is selected at random from the class. What is the probability that the student is both a freshman and a business major? So I'm going to do the probability that they are a freshman, which would be 33 over 52, plus the probability that they're the business major, 30 over 52, and I'm going to subtract the probability of both of them happening, which is going to be the opposite of the neither happening. And so if I have 52 minus 6, we have 46 out of the 52 then. So again, since they all just have the common denominator of 52, we can take our 33 plus our 30 and subtract our 46. And we get 17 over 52, exactly. Part B, 
given that the selected student is a freshman, what is the probability that he is also a business major? So we do the probability of both, which is our answer for part A. 17 over 52. We divide it by the probability of the given they are freshmen. So the probability they are a freshman, 33 out of the 52. Again, since I'm dividing fractions, I can invert and multiply. 17 over 52 times 52 over 33, and the 52s will cancel out. I don't think I can reduce that down any farther. And so it looks like I just get 17 over 33. Number 18, pretty much just like 16 and 17 were. Suppose that a certain college class contains 60 students. Of these, 29 are seniors, 32 are English majors, and 10 are neither. A student is selected at random from the class. What is the probability that they are both a senior and an English major? So in order to figure that out, what would we do? She got the 50 because 10 were neither, so 60 minus 10 gave her the 50. And so the seniors, 29 out of 60, English majors, 32 out of 60, the both part of that, 50 out of 60 since it's the opposite of the neither. So 29 plus 32 minus 50 gives us Eleven over sixty. That's going to be your probability that they're both. Part B, given that the student is a senior, what is the probability that she is also an English major? We're going to take the probability of both, which was eleven over sixty, and divide it by the probability that they are a senior, right? Because it says given they are a senior. Which was? 29 out of 60. Again, I'm dividing fractions. I can invert and multiply that second fraction. And the 60s will cancel out. And I just get 11 over 29, which I can't reduce. Or my answer to that. 